International Women's Day. Scotland's First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, uh, issued an, apolo an apology on behalf of the government for the killing of thousands of people accused of witchcraft between the 15th and 17th centuries. And this comes following a petition demanding a pardon for those who were killed. And he's the first formal recognition of those terrible events years ago. And we're joined now by Charlotte Clark, known as the Lady of Light. Good morning, Charlotte. Good Get morning. Your take on it. And, and, and tell us a little bit more about, about witchcraft. And So, I, I guess any acknowledgement of historical wrongs is a good thing, but what was your reaction to, to her apology? Well, I was quite shocked, actually, because um, all what's going on in the world at the moment, I was, I was like thinking, hmm, a bit strange, but I was very, very happy. Um, in fact, I, I was really over the moon because it's been a long time coming, hasn't it? We're talking of about three or 400 years here. Um, and those women went through some horrendous um, experiences and they weren't even guilty. But, but yeah. It's Why were they treated with such hatred? Because they really had a rough time, didn't they? Well, from what I gather, it, it could have been a lady that lived down the road, a young girl that was beautiful, and possibly um, the man up the road, yeah. um, like, had a, his eye for her, and possibly his wife, like, thought, I'm going to get get her sorted out. And it's as simple as that. Or, or maybe something happened, the wind blew a different way um, as um, one of these young um, ladies walked past. And that's just it. Just as simple as that. It just seems so arbitrary. So yeah. like, whether, like, yeah. Only cats was a thing, wasn't it? I mean, Absolutely. the whole kind of, yeah. you know, Matthew Hopkins general witch finder thing. I mean, it was a horrific couple of years. Especially. Yeah, yeah it, it, well, this, has been, this has been going on for a long, long, long time, really. Um, maybe even before um, the three, four hundred years ago, um, we, women have often been suppressed. Um, but the witchcraft thing, absolutely ridiculous in that time. And I'm sure I would have been dunked or burnt or something. But... Well, thank God you're not. <laughs> <laughs> so um, explain to us that then in a modern day uh, context what witchcraft's like and what being a white witch means. Like, when did you get into it? Um, well, um... I've been spiritual for many, many years. I'm a psychic medium. Um, and lots of those women also had um, possibly the gifts of intuition too. Um, but this, my experiences come back from when I was a child and I was always frightened of the dark and, and the energies that were around. Then later on into my 20s, um, I learned how to control the energy that I work with. And I suppose the past 10 years, I've been more into um, the craft. Yeah. Um, and that energy, but we're, we only use it for the greater good and helping um, people and guiding them. That's all. Nothing bad. Yeah. And you believe you're a white witch. Uh, do you feel like you still get a bad reputation nowadays? Absolutely. You know, there's probably people sitting out there thinking, look at that Fruit Loop. No. Y you know? <laughs> um, but of course you do. Um, anything that people aren't sure about or unaware of, um, they, they seem to ridicule or, or put you down. Um, so, yeah, e even now um, you, you're frowned upon. Um, but th there's a lot more people that are kind of, let's call them closet witches. Closet witches. I think I'm a closet witch, and I'll tell you 100%. the reason why not. I know. It's because, like, when the phone rings, I know who it's going to be without looking at the phone. And sometimes I know the phone's going to ring and it starts ringing. See? You're a so closet that, witch. So am I a witch? Absolutely. You have the sixth sense. Yeah, I feel things like without, that. Oh, without looking, without, honestly. Oh, it's Aiden. Or I'll, I'll be thinking about Number my sister. Number ID, kind of thing. And then all of a sudden, my sister will phone She'll me. ring up. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I am a white witch. Most Tell definitely. us about some of the spells that yes. you get involved with. Um, they're, there's all, they're all good spells. We don't wish anybody... We don't do any... Um, Hexes or curse, so we don't. We don't. Do you know a few wrongins that do? <laughs> Absolutely. Why yeah. do you want their address? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it might need to be something. But no. Do you? So, so you know, you don't. But are there some people that are a little? Well, we don't anymore um, because we've learned o over the years, over the ages, that it comes back tenfold. Yeah. And the spells that we tend to do are more for guiding in love, romance. Ooh, Hello. What can you do for that? Hello. Um, we can um, help the energy of love and romance around somebody um, or for them to really accept um, who, who is around them or we can, on the opposite side of things, help them to break through from um, a lover that is no longer connected with them. That's a good idea. That is a very good idea. Um, we can do kind of like a binding spell, um, but I wouldn't recommend it. Do people come to you and go, listen... 
I need some help with, I don't know, fertility or whatever, whatnot, and just... And you... Absolutely. From all around the world, I get messages. Um, sometimes I look at the message and think, really? Are you having a laugh? What's the strangest one? Oh, I don't think I could say it. What's the strangest one you can say? Um, OK, um, there was a guy um, a f about a year ago that contacted me and he wanted me to do some a spell for him. He wanted a, a girlfriend. Um, but it was almost like a shopping list. He wanted... <laughs> <laughs> he wanted a busty blonde, oh. five foot two, uh, and um, she must be musical, like music, and I thought, Hold oh, on a minute, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end of all that, um, he said, "Well, can you can you can you do that?" And um, I said, "I said I don't think so. I can just bring in love for you." Yeah, you're not Tinder. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and then he said, um, "Oh, well, you're not that good, then, are you?" And then that was it. And I thought, "No, oh, we don't need it." <laughs> <laughs> put a little wax on him. Yeah. <laughs> well, no. And what about this broom? What's, what? Tell me the story about this. Obviously, um, does it work? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I had to get a taxi here, things. it's on the blink. Um, <laughs> but it, th this broom, um, w well, it took quite a, a few weeks to make and, and there is a guy um, nearby where I live, he also comes to our spiritual um, s meetings and he basically asks the tree or, or he picks up um, fallen branches and he, he oh. just puts them all together. Um, but he nice tunes into the person that he's making the broom for at first and then goes from there. Um, so oh, this is a very special broom. Lovely. Got the lavender there, haven't you? Absolutely. And if people, Charlotte, people are watching this and, and you know, you're, you're... And they're thinking, hang on a minute, I want to I want to find out more about this. I think I might be touched or gifted okay. and I want to get it. So what should people do? Um... Can well, they get in the, touch? Can they, they can get, get they can them? they can get in touch with me through the um, le, uh, Facebook um, Charlotte Clark or the Lady of Light. Um, but I was thinking something a bit more, whoosh, but well, just Facebook <laughs> 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 um, or other media channels, um, or just close their eyes and I'll be there. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I was a bit slow on that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny nah, today. <laughs> Um, or but sometimes, what would you advise them to do? Like, well, in well, terms sometimes, of just getting in touch with their own sort of spiritual... Uh, well, there, there is a lot of... Um, um, like I said earlier, there's a lot of closet witches out there. Yeah. Um, so I, I would say um, if you're feeling a bit lost and wondering what's going on with you, with the, the different energies that, that you're working with, I would say um, see if there's any spiritual centres around you first off. And maybe you need a, um, a, a spiritual development circle or something. Uh, fa failing that, um, I, I would say the first thing is to ground yourself. Um, get yourself more grounded. Visualise some roots coming from, from your feet and just ground yourself is always the beginning. Um, Charlotte. More, Sorry to interrupt, we've run mm -hmm. out of time, but let me tell you, I think someone's just come out of the closet. I have. <laughs> I have. Go to the break, I'm going nowhere. I'm going for a fly. <laughs> Take it to the break, go on. Thank you. <laughs> Still to come. Do you recognise where Josie is?